episode of Dad Games Badly. We are back in NHL 20 with our Canadian Draft to Glory franchise featuring the Newfoundland Growlers. Uh, we just got through the offseason. I did not make any signings. Everyone is good to go. Um, we are champion status. It looks like we had a pretty decent preseason. Not too worried about that. Um, to say. Let's take a look here at the edit lines quickly. Probably advance today. Uh, Lafreniere, Wong, uh, Bo Pollock uh, is making his debut. Sixth round pick in 2028 uh, is now a 77 overall, uh, but that shooting category I need a proper power forward, but I don't got any, and Erskine is not going to help that line. So it gives it a plus three, uh, then you've got Lesert, Takashi, and Payette, Oda, Fraze, Burrish, Erskine, Jeffreon, and Arnett, Arnett, sorry, uh, rounding out the uh, fourth line. Uh, Messi and Bickle are back. Solmishkin and Byram. Tutu is here as well as Tommy Savage. Uh, the former first overall pick is now a 77. Oh, actually we drafted him this year, so that's why he's here. Uh, my only concern on this back end is Rohan Tutu. <sighs> as you can see, uh, shooting is fairly decent. Defense is good. Puck skills are all right. Uh, physical is all right. He just happens to have a one star in skating. Uh, did he play last year? He did 11 points. He wasn't terrible. So we're going to give him another shot this year. We might as well. Uh, and I'll show you why. But first, we'll go take a look at goalies quickly. Uh, Hutton is now a 90. Uh, Ma is an 83. We did try and get rid of Ma, but unfortunately we could not. We signed him on a one-year deal. He'd be 25 and still an RFA, and hopefully we can get rid of him next year. Um, and we'll go ahead and Dallas Franco is who kind of I want as our backup, um, but unfortunately not much I can do this year. Uh, Salcedo, and then we'll go ahead and take a look here. Caleb Keatley, Emmerich, and Matteo Hickey rounding out the first. Pascal Bourgeois, Alan Ryan, and Connor McLennan, who is not ours, but he's here for one more year because I signed him to a two-year deal by accident. Uh, Hiwakowski is here, Briere, uh, Labrie, Dumont, DeLuca, and Caffrey. Caffrey and Dumont are not ours, uh, so I don't care about them. And then, as you can clearly see, uh, Albert McQuaid, at 25 years old, has a fairly decent skating ability. Uh, physical, everything else is kind of yikes. Uh, then you got Christopher Weiss, who is another 74, uh, low elite, uh, 22, kind of who I'm looking at in moving up next year, hopefully. Skating could use some work. Physical is all right, everything else. So hopefully he has a better year this year. And then lastly, uh, Cyrus Bulbrook uh, is another, he's a medium seven, so he's probably never going to be there for us uh, and Doug Schumacher everyone else has pretty poor skating uh, Sam Benahan is slightly better than everybody else um, so we'll just go ahead and take a look here we have champions on both ends and we will go ahead and sim to this game against Philly and take a look at our overalls 90 87 Sorry, 88, 93, and 90. Uh, so definitely one of the better teams in the league. It'd be nice if our offense was slightly better out of 90. Uh, but goaltending and defense are huge uh, in winning games. So let's go ahead and start simming the season. I will see you guys in January just to go over everything, let you know if I'm making any changes. Uh, and then we will go from there. 
to touch base here in the middle of December. Uh, we had a game at the beginning of the season against Vegas. We won 10 to 1. Uh, they're currently 14, 17, and 1. Uh, I just wanted to see how we stacked up against them. We had a 7 0 win here against uh, Edmonton, a shutout against Carolina. Um, so let's just go ahead and take a look here. I mean, they're not that bad. 86 offense, 92 defense, 80 goaltending. But to lose 10 to 1 is insane to me. I uh, just wanted to share that tidbit with you. Uh, da -da -da. Actually, not much further until the end of the month, so we might as well stay together and check out these last few games. Uh, Vancouver keeps trying to trade me Besser, who's got three years left at 10 million. No thanks. Uh, and we do lose that game against Vegas 5 to 4, so I guess they felt they owed us the payback. Uh, and we do beat. Florida won nothing, lose to Ottawa, and then beat Toronto eight to two, and Colorado four to three. So we finish the f year twenty four ten and three, good for fifty one points, tied for first uh, with the Jets. Uh, Lightning at fifty five, and that is about it. So let's go ahead and take a look at points. Uh, you saw Bickle is our leading scorer, uh, 32 for Laugh, 32 for Wong, Bo Pollock not looking too good up there. He is an 80 overall now though, uh, so we're going to keep him up there. Hopefully he gets a lot more growth this year, and I want to keep that plus 3 on him. Uh, let's see, 19, 30... Cert has 31. Oda's doing great. Phrase is doing great. Burrish is doing great. Arnott's meh. Jeffrey on has 17 points. Did he play for us last year? He did not. Uh, Michael Erskine has 6. So, not too shabby. Some concerns I see, but nothing that I'm really willing to even change. Messier with 20 points, 20 plus 22. Uh, Jesus, Bickle has 41 plus 22 as well. Uh, Solishkin has 24 plus 2. Firearms great. Savage has 2. Plus 12 though. 9 points from 2-2. Two, two, plus 3. Like, I know we complained about that skating ability, but everything else is exactly where it needs to be to be a bo bottom 6 guy bottom six pairing guy so uh, not too concerned there uh, so what we'll go is we're just going to go right to the end of the year not much to see at the trade deadline for us anyway uh, we're not making any trades here and uh, I'll let you know if anything big happens hey everybody we are back at the end of the season uh, finishing 52 24 and 6 uh, let's go back to January because as you can see one two three losses win one two three four four losses win 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 three wins another loss and another win so not the greatest month that's for sure uh, and then you come down in here into February we get a win an overtime win a loss three four five six seven eight wins in a row overtime loss and a loss another loss to start the month of March win 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 so like another big win a loss couple wins loss win loss win win and then two losses to finish the season to give us a hundred and ten points overall a 52 24 and 6 are definitely our best season beat the lightning we are the President's Trophy winners this year, everybody. So let's go ahead and take a look at those lines. See where we got some growth. Laugh having 60, 77 points. Not bad. Wong with 67. Pollock with 30, 44. Payette with 35. Kashi was great. Lassert was great on that second line. Those two are great together. I would like to find someone to 
Well, Payette will may hopefully be there next year. That's not bad for 14 minutes considering everyone else is playing a little bit more. Uh, Fraze, 61 points on the third line. Oda having 48 points. Uh, and Burrish having 55. That third line, best third line in the league. Uh, Bur Burrish is now a medium nine. He was a low elite, uh, but to get him to an 82 uh, when he was quite low. Same with Fraze. Um, you know, can't be too upset with these guys. Oda, medium six. And then on the fourth line, Arnett, killing it. Jeffreyon, not bad. Erskine could be better. Uh, not going to be too upset about that. Defensively, uh, Messier, Bickle, studs. Solnishkin, stud. Lots of penalty minutes from him, too. Uh, Byram's been great. Savage has been great. 2-2, two, two, 108 penalty minutes. Are you? No, you're two-way. Holy, you are aggressive, though. Uh, let's just take a look here. Can I take a look at fights from the screen? I mean, whatever. It works. And then uh, goaltenders, we've got Ma is still an 83, 85, or 304. Uh, Brian Hutton had a great season, uh, hoping he can keep it up. You know, if you take a look here, Dave Franco has been, or D Dave Franco, Dallas Franco. Uh, you know, nobody here looking like they're going to have amazing growth. You know, 22, a lot of low sixes, medium nine. Yeah, nobody there we're like super excited about. Uh, and then defensively, McQuaid, Weiss. Weiss had a really good year, actually. Uh, wouldn't mind seeing him make the jump next year. Cyrus Bullbrook and Dan Bluan. You know, not a bad year for everybody down here either. How do they do? Uh, 108, six points. Uh, and they've got one game left. Let's just go ahead and advance that day. Boom. They lost that game. Yeah, NHL season is complete. AHL season is complete. And we go on and face Calgary. Uh, now, we are going to end this here. But before we go, I want to take a look at the draft class only because of Daniel Parker. Uh, 47 games. You know, he's not going to be the greatest playing on the ROW. You know, you'd be much better off with somebody like these guys. Uh, yikes. Uh, Yega. Three years out for Bills, Bilesma. Ooh, these two. Those two are the guys he would want to go after. Are any of these guys free? Austin Adams is definitely the guy you're looking at. Uh, if you missed out on anybody there, Benji German would be good. Uriel Orr still being scouted. That's fine. Uh, Downey is not worth it. Cunning uh, could be. This is the guy I've been looking at. Five years out, Vasilevsky comparison. Um, Zachary Versi wouldn't be terrible. Three years out, Sam Cunning is four. So, uh, looks like there are some studs out there uh, in the later on picks that we might be able to grab. Bilesmo wasn't terrible, but not somebody I'd be going after right away. So, yeah, thanks for coming to hang out with me on this one, you guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week uh, with the playoffs. Bye.